Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. I am Crash Rouser, and once again, time to Crash Guns with another sub of the Honesty I Fire here in the channel. Welcome to episode 148 here on the channel. We are only two episodes away from episode 150, a legendary episode that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to continue with the Honesty I Fire. Last week, we had Flashwing, meaning there's only one character left in the entire franchise of Giants until they are all retired to the shelf behind me. And I know you don't see Flashwing there yet. Just shut up, okay? It's pre-recorded. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited to bring you another episode of this series. If you don't know what the half hours, first of all, you're missing out because I'm taking every single Skylander ever. So that's a series two, three, four minis and variants. Putting them on the portal, playing with them for roughly a half hour in the game they came from, and at the end giving them the thinner rating of one to five, one being the worst, five being the best. And then they get retired there to the shelf behind me. And then that's it. The slowest unpacking episode ever, <laughs> according to Dad. I think it was Jonathan, was that it? Shout out. I want to also give a shout out to my new favorite comment. Iceman, if I'm not mistaken, was your name? Talking about my beard. Saying I should shave my beard in my top five marathon I had a little while ago. All time favorite comments. It's going nowhere. Except you're getting a dramatic zoom in. Whoa! Look how long it is! Uh, poor Iceman! Uh. You see, the thing is, is you know that when you leave a negative comment, you're gonna get the Wrath of Crash on you. Not the Wrath of Cortex, the Wrath of Crash. Because I don't care if you're negative to me, because I'll be negative back, because people don't expect them to respond, and that's why they leave negative comments. Did I have a dimple just then? I got a little bit of a dimple on the go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's get it started. It is time to see who episode 148 is. I apologize for the lighting for a second there. It's the sun is beaming directly in my face, and as it's now blurry for some reason, let's cut to the chase. Hey, we're back. All the scouts haven't an episode yet. Put away in these tubs. And all the scouts in those tubs are put into a random name picker. So I click to spin, the Skylar comes up, that's the one I'm delegating the half hour to, and again, roughly minutes, of, roughly minutes, roughly 20 minutes of gameplay. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. We might end an entire franchise today, folks, and it's crazy to think about. We're only two away from Superchargers, but one from Giants. And there's not very many left for Spiral's Adventure 2, so let's click to spin, see what we get today, and go from there. So yeah, I'm the half hour, baby. 23 names left again, roughly. It's actually 24. I'm nervous, so let's go. Yeah, you guys already know what it is, so for me, this is this is just for me, really. <gasps> Crashing camo! Stealing cars! Now, I said there's not, left for spiles, not many left for Spiders of Entry either, and I'm right, there was only four left, and camo makes it three. Camo and me go far back. The first ever Dragon Lock, when I talked about Crashing Camo, could be a TV show. People have built on that one for a while. And I gotta say, new fans, old fans, they all know about Crashing Camo. So I'm excited to spend a half hour with the one I'm gonna rob cars with. <laughs> if you don't know that, definitely go back and watch the episode of the Dragon Lock, literally called Crashing Camo. It's legendary. A lot of people know it now because of it. If you haven't watched Dragon Lock in general, go watch that. Then watch the sequel, it's even better. Let's put Cam on the portal, let's get it started, and steal some cars. <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, 20 minutes are on the clock as I step on the cord attached to my Xbox cord. <laughs> my Xbox. <laughs> camo is up for some honesty, it's crashing camo time. Yeah. 20 minutes on the clock. Exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited to bring you another episode of this. But before I continue, we got to show you stats. Yeah, camo stats. So the main move, of course, is a sunburst, which you main attack. You just shoot the little orbs out of them. Firecracker vines, the vines that go together, the vines that go out together. You, you know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? Shut up. Melon Fountain is the third move, where I think this one that he goes underground and shoots up everything underneath. Firecracker does more damage. Vines are faster. I decided to go with the top path, which is the marital bounty, so you have more of the moves here. I went with the peppers of potency because I just like the name of that. Plus, it gives the firecracker vines really, really good options. 
And hold A requires these, uh, gives you the shield. So, before I, I'm said words, I think, as the main move, of course, is as I block behind that pole, is these thing that I can't attack this one for some reason. I can do firecracker vines. You do two vines at once now, because since I upgraded it, Camo can now do two vines at once. So, nice. And then, of course, go underground, hold down B, it shoots out those. Uh, if you actually have camo in Swab Force, you can get an upgrade for Thorhorn Camo. But of course, hold A to get a shield around them. And this actually stays, too. It goes away after a while, of course, once it hits something. But you do this, it'll stay there. And you can have multiples at once. Can't have more than three, though. And it heals you! I did not know that part, actually. Hell, what you got to say to me? Wow, your tail is actually a leaf. It is? Where is it? I can't see it. I can't see it. We're going to do a level today. Yeah, we're going to go to a level. Now, again, just like with Giants last week I mentioned, I have don't. I have don't. I haven't all the levels completed. I don't have all the levels completed. Treetop Terrace? Treetop Terrace. We're going to go to the Life Elemental one, of course. Mm-mm. Some delicious water. Circle K, if you're watching. Just saying. Just k -ing. Get it? Oh. That was a mistake, but it worked. Ouch. Okay, that was my dad. Okay. Last episode, you might have remembered I had an errand to run, so I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be... If I feel like my watch vibrate, I will be glancing at it. Just a heads up. It's important. That's the thing. Don't worry. Like, I'm, I'm not just doing it to be like, oh, I got a text from someone. No, it's important. There's a difference. All right, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here, bro. Coming down. All right. You're yelling timber. Oh. Like, look at the damage that does, dude. 12 damage? It's not a lot of damage, actually. I gotta say, I'm not doing well with this. With this. Come on, crap. Come on, Camo. It's literally our episode. We've been waiting forever for this. There's just so many people who are waiting for this episode of Crash and Camo right now. You're almost dead, dude! Okay, never mind. I have to. Okay. That's kind of a bummer. Some cheese over there, though. Everybody loves cheese. I don't love cheese, actually. I don't like cheese at all. I like cheese on pizza, for example, and like nachos, but I like, I won't go to my and be like, mmm, let's have a block of cheese, you know? Be a little weirdo. Oh, one fell off the edge. I was gonna say, I, fell, I feel like I'm not doing well at all with camo right now. Like when I literally went up there, I think I just gonna, I knew there was something up there, I just forgot it was cake, you know? Life Elemental? That's what camo is. Oh, I should actually... I should have went with Leviathan Lagoon. Because that was actually the episode where Crash and Camo came to be. So once I finish this level, we're going to go to the Leviathan Lagoon. Because luckily the levels on Spyro's Adventure are very, very, very short. I don't like how they just kind of stop. You notice that? I can just stand here and do it. Look at that. Let's go get us some meat. I wonder if anybody's ever done a vegetarian run on Spyro's Adventure or any of Spyro Skyrim's game where the only food you're allowed to eat is like ve vegan. So you can't eat any meats. You can't eat like cheese. Or not, it's vegetarian. You could do that's That's vegan run is... Vegans, they don't um, eat, like, anything like eggs or, um, what is that? Oh, God. Eggs or cheese or something like that. Something that you take from an animal, too. Because there's ovo-lacto-vegan. That's, like, where you still drink milk and eat eggs and stuff like that. 
There's pescatarian, as I found out not too long ago, where is you basically don't eat any meat except for fish, which I didn't, I've heard that word before, but I didn't know what it actually meant until I think PewDiePie mentioned he was, and I said, and my girlfriend was like, what is that? I'm like, I actually don't know. So I looked it up and found it that they basically don't eat meat except for fish. I think that's what it is. Or they eat every meat except fish. I don't, I don't remember specifically. Or maybe I'll look into it again real quick. Cool. Miss. The only issue with this move is that it goes from far away. Like you have to be kind of far to hit this move properly, you know? Okay, let's go real quick. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. What does pescatarian mean? Let's see. A person who does not eat meat but does eat fish. Ah, okay, I did. Okay, yeah, I was right. So they eat nothing but fish. That's what it is. So they're basically vegan except they're pescatarian, which means they don't eat meat except for fish. I am not that. <laughs> I love meat, and I love fish, and I love the fact that I missed that melon. And... <laughs> but I like all of it, like... I can eat cheese on things. I just won't be like, hey, I'm going to go have a block of cheese. Anyways, off on a weird tangent. Obviously, when it comes to me and doing anything with my life, it's weird tangents. Think about it. When has there ever been an episode of Honesty Half Hour where I completely focused 100% on the gameplay? And then just talk about random nonsense. Random nonsense sentences, you know? Ouch. Oh, didn't get me that time. Last episode, actually, I think I went... I think I just... No, no, no. I went off topic. You know what? I'm going to try this. Next episode is episode 149. And I already filmed my intro. So I know who the Skylander is. Spoiler. And I know... Um, and I know what game and everything it is, too. So next episode, I'm going to try to just focus on the game. No outside interference, no me rambling off on tangents. I'm legit just going to try to focus on the game. On the game. Not the game, the game. The game. You know? Remember the game back in the day? It says the guy who never actually participated, he just knows about it. Because he used to hang out with a group of people who were obsessed with it for some reason. Uh oh! Come on, Camo, you can do it, buddy. Ah, uh, that guy's glitched down there. Ha ha ha. And that guy's glitched there. Wait, can I hit you from up here? I can. Look. Camo's hitting him. You just can't see it. Did I kill him? I did. I did it. Look at that. I'm the best. Camo, as, as Camo's very close to dying. Don't know what's going on. Why I'm so close to being dead all the time. Like, Camo in the Dragon Lock killed it. Camo did great. Crashing Camo, baby. But no, for some reason, this this time playing this, just like, I don't know, man. Actually, I'll be playing as Whirlwind now, actually, so that's probably why. My dad shared a video to me. God knows what that could be. Oh, sick! Chase! This carry run continues. <laughs> Do best carries eat cheese? They're still over lacto, I guess. I guess that's what it means. Oh gosh, what the? Oh god, what the? Why are you here? How'd you get down here? Your dude fell off! Your life spell pump fell! Bro, that's not that's sad. Ha ha ha! Now life spell punks up there, and in this game they can't fight, so he's just gonna stand there and be like, "Oh man, this is a bummer." Anyways, watch this. You ready? He just waltz up to him. They don't fight back in this game. They can't fight back in the game. They don't have any moves to fight back. Nice. We did it. Camo did it. Camo did it. Yay! All by himself. Which he did do it all by himself. So we got a decent look at his moves that time around to see how, like, it's interesting. It's an interesting combination because, like, it didn't really help me or it actually hindered me for a lot. 
which is cool to say the least. I'm gonna say I'm like, is he there? Let's see if I can get him. Let's see if I can get him before he runs away. Oh, I hit his little brute friend instead, bro. I could have done that, I just realized. That could have took him out real quick. Oh, my hair. There we go. I do this. Oh gosh, that's not what I want. What if I do this? Can I hit him? No, can I do this? Bro, you're killing me here. Oh, I got him, never mind. What if I do this? Can I hit the, gu the guys down here with this? I can do this and hit them. Oh, I can! Heck yeah, dude. That's, that's skills right there, baby. That's skills. Yeah, yeah. All right. The little dudes, little dudes, they're all dying. Remember in the prison break episode? When I killed them all real quick? This is where I switched to crashing camels, stealing cars, and hijacking planes, and robbing the earth of its everything. Those are words, probably. Oh, that's gotta hurt. But yeah, Crash and Camo should have been a real TV show. Should have been a comic. Should have been something, you know. Crash and Camo was legendary. Still is, ladies. And gentlemen. But mostly ladies. The ladies love Crash and Camo. Especially Camo. Camo's their favorite part, actually. We, we, did, a, we did a survey... And it said, who do you like more, Crash and Camo, with just the ladies? And it was Camo. Look at me shooting, but I somehow I'm shooting the bridge. Because that's totally how that works. Crashing Camo, stopping thieves from stealing keys and everything. Crashing Camo. Making blocks and beating people up. I don't care what you guys were going to think where I was going to go there. That's inappropriate. This is a children's channel. You little jerks. Let's go. How many of you guys have ever played Spouse Adventure on uh, Xbox? It's something. It's different. Yeah, come on. Yeah, whoop. There we go. See if I can get him right here. Nope, can't get him anywhere. All right, that's fine. Didn't want, didn't want to, anyways. Goodbye. <gasps> want him alone? I'm a vine. Okay, next one's over there. Getting warm in this room now, hey? Yeah, you guys, you guys agree? <laughs> Woohoo! Got you, little boys. Cool, missed them all. That was exactly what I was looking for. I was actually hoping I did that. But see, you can get like a little bit of range here too, which is pretty sick. Like, look at that. Bam! Killed that dude. So like, I can stand here and do this to this guy, right? And, if, and eventually it does hit him and it stuns him too. But like, I could also do this, you know? Right? Y'all, y'all got, you got, y'all got me there. Mm-hmm. Silence. I get it. I understand. Something's crinkling in the back of me there, behind me. Oh, we don't need that. I was gonna go grab the melon, but I did not need the melon. Oh, I should have switched to a water Skylander so I can destroy the ship with water, because that makes sense. This one actually makes sense. You're shooting literal watermelons at things, and I can tell you, watermelons are not soft. They are thick. You get a watermelon, you gotta need you need a special knife to cut through one of those. Like they are, they are big boys. They are big daddies. You know. So that one makes sense. How much time do we got left? Four minutes. Four minutes. So we might be able to get to the battle with chaos. Where the whole A, A gang is now a thing. It's not X gang anymore. It's whole A gang. Because X gang is not not a thing anymore. It just kicked my 
whatever it's called, trash can. That's what I do. Kick my cat. Trash can everywhere, because crashing camo, we don't care. Crashing camo don't, don't care, you know? We just do what we want. Gotcha, punk. The shrine. Well, would you look at that? <gasps> See, the worst thing about this is you have to be in perfect angle with this guy so you can hit him. Because look, I missed. But here, just barely. Like, you have to be in perfect angle of that guy to be able to get moves on him. So you take him out easy. And plant them all. Gotta plant them all. Pizza time. Pizza time. It'd be interesting if you do a vegetarian only run with the pizza because there's pepperoni pizza and then there's actual cheese pizza. Hold A gang. Hold A gang. This is my Xbox controller. Do you like it? Yes. Yep. You sure are. I sure am. You sure are. Ooh, is that Zap? Huh? It's actually Paz. It's Zap backwards. It's Paz. Did you guys know that? Woo! Look at that. Bam, 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 bam. And he goes, Zap. Oh! Bam, 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 bam. Ouch. Cause like he slides the water into me, but the only way that does any damage is if it slows me down, bro. Cause like I do this, and you can't hit me. Oh, oh, you got me head on that first time there, cause I did walk right into it. I'm not even gonna lie. Got you, bro. Cheese. Say, a, press A, hold A, gang. Shock Path of Doom Shocks! So what you can do here is this is the way you can heal up with camo, okay? Keep this in mind. If, you, if you're if you playing the solo run with camo, this is a way to heal up. See? So if you lost a lot of damage in that fight with Zap or in one of your future fights, this is a way to heal up. See, you're still healing, right? Let me just do it again real quick. Just make sure to dodge the things too. But you do this. You're getting five, plus five every, like, second, really. And then if you dodge these guys without getting bit by them, even though I'm clearly dodging them, you get extra health. Yeah. See? Subscribe for more life hacks. Evil Amphibious Gilman! Love that guy. I almost got him. Oh my gosh, he's done. Well, that was the easiest one yet. <laughs> Hold A, gang. Hold A, gang. Crashing camo. Pausing the timer. We only have one more left to beat, so we'll finish this up. Extended episode, Crashing Camo. Season, season series finale. This is it. This is the last you're going to see of Crashing Camo ever. That's it then, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna get that achievement? There's an achievement where I think you gotta get like a certain amount of sharks in a row and not get hit or something. I got immediately got hit instead. Look at that. That's how you heal, baby. Because I think there's a way to cheese it, like with the achievement. If you go with Terrafin, you go underneath the sharks, you can't get hit by them. And that's how you get the achievement. I think there's an achievement. It's achievements for Xbox, so I know that. But Hold A gang, hold A gang, hold A gang. I mean... Hold A gang. Gang, gang, gang. Look at Slam Bam. Hey, Slam Bam, you come what you doing? You coming over here? You're not gonna get over here. You're not gonna get over here. Melon! You're not gonna get over here. You're not gonna get over here. 
Slam Bam, you're not doing very well there, buddy boy. Mm melon! <laughs> Ready for this? And a melon! Oh, I missed! Melon! Oh, I missed again! Melon! And death. Oh, no, that did not kill you! Melon? No, okay, hold on, we'll do this, though. Here, give me a heal. You stay back! Stay back! I'm healing! Slam bam, stand back, I'm healing. Slam, slam bam, I didn't want to do this to you, but I had to. Hold A gang. Hold A gang. This is an extended episode. This is a big extended episode. We gotta destroy them all. Kill them all. Let's go, baby. We just stand here and just do this. One down. I'm frozen. Like Disney. Like Mr. Disney himself. Okay, I'm switching to just my range attack. Two. And... Gucci Gang. Remember the forgotten lock with camo one? Hold A gang. Hold A gang. Hold A gang. I keep forgetting that camo's in the forgotten lock. Because, like, I specifically remember camo beating Chaos. And I'm just like, it wasn't in the dragon lock because I only had Sunburn and Spiral left. Spoiler, if you haven't seen the Dragon Lock somehow. But yeah, it was Camo in the Forgotten Lock was my MVP. Alright, we did it! We beat the level. And we beat this episode of On CF Hour. So let's cut to just my face and discuss Camo because I do have a nitpick to discuss. And you probably know what it is. So I hope you enjoyed the series finale of Crash and Camo because that's it. There's no more after this. I'm never going to say Crash and Camo ever again. I'm clearly going to say it again, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you did enjoy this one because I know a lot of you were excited for this episode. Camo is a lot of people's favorite. Skylander, Strike Hero Camo, literally in his name. And there's a ton of other people out there waiting for this episode. So I hope I did him justice. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Had your Crash and Camo references. But let's get down to the nitty gritty. Breaking down Camo's moves. Camo's main move with the sun sh shots, whatever you want to call them. The little sunbursts that he shoots out. I did enjoy them. They're great. They're great for range. They helped me so much, especially in that battle with Chaos, if you go and watch the Forgotten Lock. And I did not know they healed you when you actually do the shield. So I was like, I wonder how many can do. And I actually did three and found that I healed. I don't know in the description if it told you that. So kind of, kind of, kind of poopy that you never told us that. But I did find it out and I did use it to my advantage with Slam Bam. Slam Bam did a little bit of damage on me. I said, hold on, I'm healing and just ran around. So I think it did pretty well with that one. Um, the move when it comes to the actual throwing out those vines. Actually, I gotta quickly check something. His secondary move. Oh, I can't check it on this, right? I was gonna see what his bottom path was, which I think his bottom path upgrades the watermelons, because I do have something to say about those. Um, the fact that you can upgrade those vines to do extra damage, extra length, and do two of them instead of one, I think that upgrades a million times better because that helped me out so much. As soon as I start off in a level, I threw that down and just threw them forward, did some decent damage, but here's the thing, I can do the same exact thing while shooting them. So I could do that thing, shoot it down, and then just start shooting them from a ranged attack, you know? So I felt like that's a one-trick pony move. But that's not a flaw that I'm talking about. The melons. Now, I don't know if you upgrade the bottom part and the melons get a little more accurate, but I'm standing in front of a stationary enemy, go underground with my watermelons and shoot them out, and they miss. <laughs> they go, here's the enemy, and they go... And I'm like, okay, I missed, I guess. Don't like that. Again, I don't know if in the later games, or the, if you upgrade it, it becomes better. Because I know in Swap Force, you actually upgrade the Melon Bomb, and they become more, I guess, homing with the Jack-O-Lantern face. They actually hit them more accurate. Because I remember when in the Royal Rumble, the first ever one, Dover was killing me with that move. So, yeah, I think with that one to make you decide between the top path and the bottom path when both of them could have been used to make it even better i'm gonna do a four out of five just because i don't feel like we should give up that awesome top thing where you can do two different lines just to make the melons more accurate when in a later game they give you that anyway so i think four to five is justifiable 
If you guys disagree with me, you are more than welcome to say so in the comments below. As long as you're respectful, I'll be respectful back. And let me know your opinion of Camo in the comments below, along with what Skyler you're excited for in a future episode of this series. Next episode is episode 149. I'm very excited to bring that to you next week. Come back for that one. But as always, I bid you farewell. Thank you.